Friends, inside of this bottle, I filled water. To heat this water, I am using a water heater. But I want to heat this water only till 30 degrees Celsius. So for this, I made a setup here. I am turning on this. After turning on this, you can see right now in this condition, temperature of water is 23 degrees Celsius. And this heater is on now. This lamp is indicating that heater is in on condition. Now as the water is heating up, you can see temperature in this temperature controller is also increasing. But when temperature reaches 30 degrees Celsius, my heater will turn off automatically. So you saw when temperature of water reaches 30 degrees Celsius, suddenly my heater turned off automatically. This action of turning off heater is done by this temperature controller. It means through this temperature controller, we can control the temperature. How to do this? We are going to learn through this video. So as you can see, this temperature controller here, in this a display is given so that we will know what is the temperature of the surface right now of which we have to control the temperature. To set a temperature, two buttons are provided here and along with this, an indication is also given here. This indication tells us that relay is being operated. When you look at the backside of this temperature controller, then as you can see here, total seven terminals are given here. By using these, we do the wiring. To this controller, we have to tell that at the surface where we want to control temperature, what is the temperature there? For this, we have to use a sensor. You can call this sensor or you can say thermocouple. This thermocouple changes its resistance according to temperature. And whatever resistance is there, this controller will detect it and it will tell us the temperature. This controller I have, with this controller, you have to use only J type of thermocouple. We can use J type thermocouple from 0 degree Celsius to 750 degree Celsius. Okay, now we will understand how to do wiring of this. To keep this controller on, you have to simply connect AC power supply. It means take phase supply and neutral supply and connect these at 3 number and 4 number terminal. For this, I am using a MCB. At input terminal of MCB, I am connecting phase supply and neutral supply. Now from output of phase supply terminal, connect a wire and connect this wire with 3 number terminal. Similarly, connect neutral power supply from here and connect with 4 number terminal. As I told you few minutes ago, to this controller, for providing feedback of temperature, you have to use thermocouple here. In this thermocouple, you will find 2 wires. Among these, take red wire and connect with 18 number terminal. Now take blue wire and connect with 19 number terminal. After this, you have to decide that through this controller, which equipment you want to turn on and off. For example, I am showing you connection of lamp. So what I will do, from this phase supply, I am connecting a wire and with this common terminal, I am connecting this wire. Now after this, you have to decide you want to connect this lamp with NO contact or NC contact. First of all, learn to use NO contact. Look, if you want to use NO contact, then simply what you have to do, this 5 number terminal here, I mean NO contact, connect a wire from this terminal and connect this wire with this lamp. Now to operate this lamp, neutral power supply is also required. So we will connect neutral power supply directly with lamp. Before moving further, let's understand that if we use NO contact, then what will happen? This lamp here, I connected this with NO contact. In this condition, you can see my lamp is on. Why lamp is on, let's understand. See, this thermocouple is telling us that temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. And in this temperature controller, I programmed 30 degrees Celsius for now. So whatever temperature you set, if current temperature is less than this, then in this condition, your lamp will remain on. That is, if you want that lamp should remain on when temperature is less, and when temperature is reached till program temperature, then lamp must be turned off. Then for this, you have to use NO contact. As you can see, when it becomes 30 degrees Celsius, lamp turned off. Now if temperature again decreases, then lamp will again turn on. Now how to use this NC contact? Let's understand this also. See, I am using one more lamp here. To connect this lamp with NC contact, what you have to do? This seven number terminal here, connect a wire from this terminal and to this lamp provide phase supply. To this lamp, we have to provide neutral power supply also. For this, I am connecting neutral power supply directly from here. Just understand one thing that, if we use NC contact, then what will happen in this condition? If we connect this lamp with NC contact, then what will happen is, in this temperature controller, if temperature is less, as you can see temperature right now is 23 degrees Celsius. And in this temperature controller, I programmed 30 degree temperature. 
it means temperature is less than this right now. In this condition, lamp will remain off. But when temperature increases, I am increasing the temperature here. When temperature reaches 30 degrees Celsius, then this lamp will be turned on automatically. As you can see, moment it reaches 30 degrees Celsius, lamp turned on. Now in this controller, if you want to set temperature, then among these two buttons, you have to press any one button once. When you press this, set is written here. After this, if you want to increase temperature, then press up button. When you press up button, temperature goes on increasing. In this controller, you can set maximum 600 degrees Celsius temperature and minimum 0 degrees Celsius temperature you can set. I am setting here 25 degrees Celsius. So right now temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. When it reaches 25 degree, instantly lamp will be turned off, as you can see. Besides in this controller, we can set one more thing which we call as hysteresis interval. What is hysteresis interval? Let's understand this once. Right now in this controller, 25 degree Celsius is set. I am putting the sensor in water so that temperature can be reduced. Look in this controller, when it comes to 24 degree Celsius, suddenly lamp will be turned on. Now if again temperature becomes 25 degree Celsius, then lamp will be turned off automatically. Similarly, if again temperature goes down, then in this condition, lamp will again turn on. So you have to understand only that when temperature is reduced by 1 degree Celsius, lamp is turning on and when temperature is maintained, lamp is turning off. Now you want that this temperature controller again turn on the lamp at 20 degree Celsius. That is, after the difference of 5 degree Celsius only, the controller will turn on the lamp. Then for this, in this controller, you have to do programming of hysteresis interval. How to do programming of this, let's understand. See, for programming, first of all you have to turn off the power supply. After turning off power supply, these two buttons here, press and hold both these buttons. After this, turn on the power supply. When you turn on power supply, you will find HY5 written here. After this, whatever temperature difference you want to keep, you can set here. Here maximum 50 degree Celsius temperature difference you can set and minimum 1 degree Celsius. So here we want difference of 5 degree Celsius, so we will set 5 here. After this, in this controller, there is one more program in which we can set that till how much degree Celsius we want to operate this controller. You can use this controller maximum till 600 degree Celsius and for minimum 1 degree Celsius you can use this. The temperature you will set here, you cannot set more temperature than this. I am setting 300 degree Celsius here. After setting 300 degree Celsius, when I release this, programming will be saved automatically. Now when I set the temperature here, then you will see till 300 degree Celsius only, you can set the temperature. We cannot do programming more than this because in this temperature controller, maximum 300 degree Celsius we programmed. So I hope you understood the whole concept of this temperature controller. You can see right now temperature of the water is 37 degree Celsius and in this controller, for now temperature we programmed is 30 degree Celsius. Now what I will do, this temperature controller here, I will tell this that I want to heat this water till 42 degree Celsius. So by pressing this button here, I am increasing the temperature. Now when I set 42 degree Celsius, instantly this temperature controller turned on the heater. You can see lamp is turned on. Now when temperature of water reaches 42 degree Celsius, instantly heater will be turned off automatically. Friends I hope you like this video. If you like this video, do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.